Don't you see that this brings me money, money, money when I shake my bum, bum, bum. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it is reaction time again. Today we are not reacting to vegan YouTube. I found a trailer of a new Netflix series called Cuties, where an 11-year-old girl from Senegal decides to leave her religion, her Islamic religion, for twerking. Let's have a look. That was all she needed to see. Now she's gonna take off the hijab and start twerking. What is that? And notice the music in the background. One for the money, two for the money. Shake your bum, 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 bum. It is cool to be a prostitute. It doesn't matter how old you are. You are never young enough to be a slut. Start today. Wow, look at this scene. So there you see the black girl playing with her non-existent breasts. In the background you see the white girl sucking on her finger and on the right side, we see the same thing again. This is absolutely disgusting. This is saddening. This is so vile. It's absolutely repulsive to watch this degeneracy that is being pushed onto our children. They're talking about the new normal post COVID. No, this is the new normal that they want to promote. Absolute sexualization of 10, 11 year old girls. Look at those clothes, those crop tops. Look at those outfits. Look at those poses. All of this is obviously not appropriate. Something like this would have been impossible just five years back. However, now this is being pushed as something totally normal. This is a pedophile agenda and I can't understand how people do not see this. Look at this. This trailer is full with filth. There you see the young girl touching the other young girl in some sort of lesbian-esque action. She's touching her butt. She's teaching her how to be a proper adult, right? This is what we do because this is what we see in the media. This is what the kids see on television. If it is Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, you name it, shake your ass, be a slut, show as much skin as you can, be promiscuous. This is what they want to promote. They are grooming our children. Do you really think that Jeffrey Epstein was some sort of isolated case? Guys, this is going on everywhere. We should be aware of this. What do you think Hollywood is? What do you think Netflix is? It's just an extension of this pedophile grooming agenda. Disgusting. <laughs> wow, just wow. This is a pedo fest. Right now, predators are sitting there watching, salivating, seeing this material. This young girl with her spread legs. And look even at the camera angle, how it films directly in between the young girl's legs. This is absolutely disgusting. The parents that let those young actors play those roles should be ashamed of themselves. And Netflix as well. We should boycott Netflix. This is an outrage, absolutely repulsive. Let's proceed. <laughs> There she is. Wow, great. Traded the hijab for tight leather pants. Yet again, another butt shot. No worries. This is appropriate. This is totally cool. It's all right. She's 10 years old, dressing like a 30 year old whore. Amazing. Yeah, so many likes on Instagram. That is good. This is what we should pursue. We shouldn't pursue being good humans. We shouldn't pursue being honorable humans. No, we should pursue Instagram likes. Look 
So there you have it, the old rigid belief system religion, right? This is something that we outlived already, something from the past. So old fashioned, now it's absolutely cool to do the exact opposite of what the parents say. You can see clearly that they're trying to ridicule religion as something that is not going with the times. And this is very dangerous because it all comes under the disguise of evolution. We're simply evolving into something better, right? Religion is something from the past. Now twerking is your new god. This is good. This is what is being promoted here. Don't you see? It is the loss of morals. They're removing the children from ethics, from morals, from God, and they're leading them into sin. The greatest sin that you can commit is to make a child sin. And this is exactly what they're doing with the hypersexualization of those children, telling them that the new standard is not God, but it's false idols like those pop stars. They're trying to emulate them and with that they're sinning. They're committing sin. They're committing atrocities. They're throwing their life away. And Netflix, the media, is promoting exactly this. Do you know that they're trying to lower the consensual age? This is the propaganda that we're seeing at hand here. And for that, they use the LGBT community, if you will. They want to add a P to the LGBTQ movement in order to establish a new pedophile law. Where it's totally all right for a 40, 50, 60 year old man to have sex with an 11 year old girl or boy, doesn't matter as long as it is consensual. How could it be consensual? A young child doesn't know what it wants, but this is what the media is for. They want to show them what they are supposed to believe is a good way of living. Take off the hijab and start twerking. I am not a Muslim by any means, but I am for universal morals, universal ethics. This should be the basis for a good life. If you remove the ethics and the morals from a young girl's life, you are setting them up for disaster. And cut. Again, we can see between the legs of a young girl, an 11-year-old girl. We can see her panties underneath the skirt. Thank you, Netflix. Thank you for promoting this. Applause, applause. Absolute degeneracy. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely dangerous. Oh, so sad. Cool. Yes, let's promote this. This is good. You are a rebel. Steal, sin, money from your parents. Another sin yet again. This is what we should applaud now. Amazing. Liberate yourself. You go, girl. And then end up on the streets wearing bras and thongs for everybody to see. Let's sexualize those girls even more because it hasn't been enough. Let them put on lingeries. Let them literally dress like hookers on crack on the streets for the grown-ups to watch. Amazing job. Sweet. Oh, the bad old-fashioned mom. What is she thinking? Slapping that poor girl. All she ever wanted is to be equal with the good grown-ups. This is what we see here. Again, the LGBT movement, the left. It is all under the disguise of compassion and equality. We can all be equal, right? Women and men. And now, kids and grown-ups, we can be equal too. As long as I see my idols on the screen twerking, why shouldn't I be allowed to do the same? Don't you see that this brings me money, money, money when I shake my bum, bum, bum? This is good, mom. Why do you slap me? Do you see the brainwashing? Disgusting. Me. Get me. Oh, crying drama. Yes. Oh. And more skirts. Just perfect. 14-year-old boys, 11-year-old girls, 
hey, that works out perfectly fine. Again, let's lower the age of consent. It is totally cool for us adults to watch this. Because keep in mind, this Netflix series is not rated for children. This is adult content. This series is made for adults. And now we as adults, of course, we know that the children will be watching. But hey, we should see 14 year olds and 11 year olds as equals. They just want to have fun as well. Those kids just want to have sex. This is why they wear bras. This is why they twerk. They are equal to us. If they consent to sex with us, it should be totally all right. Just two people sharing the love. This is the dangerous agenda. How can't you see this? It's, oh. Wow. Cuties. Even the title is to lure pedophile predators in. Wow, wow. All right, and this is it. Thank God it is over. Gross, Netflix, gross. Really disgusting, perverted, vile, degenerate, and dangerous. Guys, you have to keep in mind, this is not random. This is not by chance, coincidence. We see it in our educational system. Children are being groomed. So-called sex education starts earlier and earlier and earlier. Very, very young children are exposed to all kinds of disgusting filth. There was a case in America where children got some homework for their sex education. The homework was to Google what transvestite porn truly is. So now let me ask you. What happens when you Google transvestite porn? Do you think you're going to end up on a Wikipedia page? Of course, you're going to end up on a porn page. You're going to end up seeing transvestite porn as a 10 year old. It all goes hand in hand, as I said, with the LGBT movement, where they want to promote this new normal. Don't you see it? We've been locked at home due to the Kulats virus, due to COVID-19, and we've been groomed to accept a new normal. But at the same time, we've been distracted, looking away from what is truly happening. This world is run by pedophiles. It happens on the highest levels. In Hollywood, banking, politics, you name it, it is run by pedophiles. The UN is run by occultist pedophiles. You don't believe me? Look it up. Hey, on that note, Orthodoxy and the Kingdom of Satan. Absolutely amazing book. Highly recommend. It goes into depth. The United Nations, elites, European Union, Freemasonry, ancient cults, Zionism, banking, one world government, and of course, the child abuse. You don't have to be orthodox to read this. Hey, you don't even have to be Christian to read this. This is a phenomenal book. I highly recommend it. Guys, please stay aware. Stay awake. Back in the day, they used to say the devil is in the detail. Nowadays, the devil is running naked through the streets onto your TV on Netflix, showing little girls spreading their legs with all kinds of soft porn angles. This is the time to wake up, guys. This is the time to expose this agenda. Veganism that I've been talking about for years on my channel is just an aspect of this disgusting, devilish plan. Please wake up. All right, but this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, leave it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section how you like this video, what you want me to react to next. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.